Hi there, my name's Nico, and today I'll be going over my first impressions of Marcus, the newest character in Season 6. The newest character isn't that great, which is expected unfortunately, but let's get started. He is supposed to be like a juggernaut character, but has some of the worst base stats in the game, so you want to make sure you have items with some HP and defense on them. He did receive a hotfix buff the next day, and the buff was substantial, but I don't think it's enough or it needs to go in a different direction. I think it's because his main mechanic is not that great. So his main mechanic is Grant. When above 50 Grant, his W and E have bonus effects, but they don't synergize with his kit that well. His W, Violent Swing, will knock opponents behind him, and his E, Fearless Assault, will knock opponents away from you and stun them. This can cause situations where you knock people you are fighting into other people, causing them to die, but you not get the kill credit for it. So it basically helps your opponents more than it helps you. Grit E is definitely better than Grit W most of the time. Opponents also become rattled if not backed into a wall by one of Marcus's skills. This applies extra damage and allows Marcus to do a bonus attack as shown on the screen. Grit E allows you to run away and also stuns them. Grit E is basically Hyunwoo E but worse as it has a condition and also doesn't do as many things as Hyunwoo E does. The only good thing is that it's better to run away with as you don't travel with the person you knock back like Hyunwoo. His Q, Art of War, is like Daniel Q without the slow and skill shot. The attack speed is also significantly less. You gain a 10% movement speed boost when you activate it, which I don't think is enough right now. Most movement speed boost abilities give closer to 20%, like Lennox W and Adina Q. The only movement speed boost that is the same as Marcus is Bernice E at level 2. I don't think it should be 20%, but I believe there can be a middle ground as the movement speed doesn't seem to help overall. And his ultimate does damage and applies a slow. The biggest thing with the skill is that you can't use it if the enemy is right on top of you. So ideally you use it as the opponent is about to run away and they are at least 50% HP or lower. But there are some anti-synergy in his kit, like if you use Grit E, you can't hit your opponent with W immediately as they become out of range, you'll have to walk to them. By the time you reach your opponent, they are generally unstunned. Marcus works best if people fight into him in a narrow corridor, but I'm sure people will stop doing this once they learn how to fight him and if they also buff him. Marcus cannot fight ranged kiting characters as you have no real gap closer, your E does not bring you in range of most of the ranged characters, and you can't use your W immediately after e as there's a wind-up animation so they can just dash away or even just walk out most of the time. The only true way to get onto a ranged character is with the slow from your ultimate, but you don't do enough damage to kill them off of this. I also only think he can be played as an auto attacker and not as an amp character. I think after the buffs his damage is fine, but his survivability is a bit low and his kit counters himself in my opinion. If they increase his survivability by a bit and make it so that he doesn't have as many self stuns or long wind up animations, he probably will be fine. They may need to tone down how long his CC lasts because of these changes, but I think it will make him feel more fluid. What do you think about Marcus? Let me know in the comments down below. I hope to see you in the next video.